atheists are often labeled as angry. Now, I won't presume to speak for all atheists, but as for calling an American atheist like me angry, it's a bit like accusing a fish of being wet. There's an ocean of religious flotsam inundating us on a daily basis. From the hijacking of our currency and Pledge of Allegiance by Christian zealots, to the Islamic threats of violence against those who have the audacity to exercise their First Amendment right to free speech, we are literally drenched to the gills with the slimy religious detritus the pilgrims fled in the first place. But before we dive into that rancid kettle, let's address some of the common questions believers ask of outspoken atheists. Why do you care if someone else believes in God? Why do you attack people's religious beliefs? And if a person's faith helps them cope with their own mortality and gives them comfort in times of need, why do you need to ridicule it? To these questions, I ask, do your religious beliefs infringe on the rights of others? Do they affect public policy? Do they undermine the advancement of science and education? Does your religious doctrine justify bigotry, hatred, and violence? When it comes to the big three desert dogmas, the answer is yes to all. And that makes me angry. I'm angry about being marginalized and mistrusted just for being a skeptic. I'm angry that U.S. politicians have to profess belief in invisible creatures in order to even get on the ballot, much less get elected. I'm angry about the objection to stem cell research due to religious superstition. I'm angry about the subjugation of women. I'm angry that women are denied the right to make reproductive decisions for their own bodies. I'm angry about the academic stagnation of the Arab world since the advent of Islam. I'm angry about religious zealots crashing jet planes into buildings on 9-11. I'm angry that gullibility, disguised as faith, is considered a virtue. I'm angry about religiously motivated homophobia. I'm angry about Westboro Baptist bigots protesting the funerals of U.S. soldiers. I'm angry about the worldwide erosion of science education by creationists. I'm angry that the pseudoscience of intelligent design is being insinuated into public classrooms. I'm angry that anti-science legislation is routinely submitted in dozens of state legislatures in the guise of academic freedom, as if high school teachers and students should be introducing whatever hocus-pocus explanation they prefer rather than the approved curriculum. I'm angry about the institutionalized, rampant pedophilia in the Catholic Church. I'm angry about the AIDS epidemic in Africa and the culpability of the Catholic Church who tells the uneducated that condoms cause disease. I'm angry about government-sponsored prayer days in Texas rather than real action to deal with drought. And the next time Governor Perry decides that he needs God's help with the weather, he might consider consulting a meteorologist instead because the scientist certainly knows more than Mr. Perry's God, since he has the distinct advantage of actually existing. I'm angry that children are dying because their parents deny them life-saving medical procedures for religious reasons. I'm angry about the tax-exempt status afforded the parasitic, money-grubbing evangelical megachurches. I'm angry about honor killings. I'm angry about people being executed for the crime of speaking their mind. I'm angry about creeping Sharia. I'm angry about the censorship of material that offends some people's delicate religious sensibilities. 
and I'm angry with the spineless moderates who make excuses for those who make it their goal to be offended as easily and as often as possible at the slightest perceived insult. It's those mealy-mouthed appeasers who make it possible for the professional complainers to get away with eroding the bedrock of Western values, freedom of speech. I'm angry about the Scopes Monkey Trial. I'm angry that historical revisionists continually assert the falsehood that the United States is a Christian nation. I'm angry that Pentecostal witch hunters like Helen Ukpabio are getting rich off the torture, abandonment, and murder of tens of thousands of children in the Niger Delta. I'm angry about the Salem witch trials. I'm angry about the Crusades. I'm angry about the Spanish Inquisition. And God damn it, I'm still angry about the persecution of Galileo. If you choose to reject science and live in delusion, whatever. But if you band together with millions of other deluded zealots and impose your collective insanity on the rest of us, reasonable people are right to get angry. But if you insist that your imaginary friend gives you permission to impose your Bronze Age psychosis on others, Error, 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 error.